Hi everyone, this is Emmy, and today I'm going to show you how to make this crocheted cuff or bracelet. And it comes from a pattern that's available at carlito.etsy.com. You can make it with just a button sewn on the top, or you can make this flower and attach the button to the top of the flower. So let's get started. I'm going to work with a size 5 millimeter crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. And in crochet, we always start with a slip knot. You form a loop, pass the hook through the loop, pick up the yarn and pull it through, and tighten that on your hook. And that's a slip knot. And to do this bracelet, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's a chain stitch. It's simply picking up the yarn, pulling it through the loop on the hook. Now we're going to single crochet across. We never start in the first stitch, we always start in the second. We're going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook, and we're going to single crochet in each stitch across the row. Single crochet in each stitch across the row, like that. When we get to the end, we're going to chain one and turn. And then we're going to single crochet in each stitch across the row. Like that. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch across the row. This entire bracelet is going to be worked with this same procedure of chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row. Now we're going to do that until this band is long enough to slide onto our wrist. So I'm going to go ahead and complete that. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've worked a band. It's long enough so that I'll be able to slide it over my hand. So now I'm going to bring both ends together and I'm going to slip stitch to join the two ends and form a cuff. To slip stitch, match the stitches, pick up the yarn and pull it through both sides. Match the stitches, pick up the yarn, pull it through both sides. Match the stitches, pick up the yarn, bring it through both sides like that and fasten off. Thread the yarn into a needle and weave it back and forth into the finished work. Repeat with the other yarn end like that. So now your cup is finished. You'll be able to place that on your arm. And so um, what she recommends in her pattern is that you can make a fancy button in this manner by stacking some beads on top of the button and sewing them on. And then you just go ahead and sew that fancy button onto the cuff. And now I'm going to show you how to make this easy flower. Chain five. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Chain six. Single crochet in the ring. You've formed one petal. Repeat to make a total of five petals in the ring. like that. Slip stitch to join and fasten off. Tie the two yarn ends into a square knot at the back of the flower and trim off the extra. So now you have a flower and you can sew the button on the flower and then attach the flower and the button onto the bracelet. Like that.